Eleven years ago, Joel and Sandy Chambers moved into their home in the Lewis County village of Harrisville, about 40 miles northeast of Watertown. Joel, an Army veteran who served in Afghanistan and works at Fort Drum, saw the home as a quiet place to live. But for the past seven years, the Chambers' home has been vibrating, and they blame the lumber mill 200 yards away from their back porch. I plan on retiring here and living here, and I can't live like this. I'm, I got a headache. I was sick one day. I'm laying in bed. I'm vibrating laying in bed. No, you can't live like that. While photographer Brian Herb and I were there, the entire house and everything in it shook. Look at the chain on this cross necklace hanging from a hook in their bedroom. The ceiling fan blade vibrates up and down about a quarter of an inch. You can even hear items rattling. Listen closely to this lamp touching the wall. But the best demonstration of the problem was in the dining area, in view of the lumber yard out back. Everything is off. There's no, no refrigerator running, no air conditioner, nothing, nothing no that could be vibrating. Walking, no people walking. We're all still. Okay, and we're still, and I'm seeing this water moving. Right, right. And I'm seeing these flowers, leaves. Okay, I'm seeing this water moving. And I'm seeing the flower petals vibrating here. Now, if you listen, you can also hear it. It kind of goes with the noise from the mill. The th 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 the HDK mill is owned by Bestway Enterprises, which describes itself as one of the biggest wholesale distributors of building materials in the Northeast. Bestway leases the land from the Lewis County Industrial Development Agency, which helped to expand the operation in 2006 with a state grant. When the state realized that lumber harvested in New York was mostly milled in Canada, the IDA made a bid to expand the sawmill to process local resources with local jobs. The chambers call this a light day. Depending on the type of work going on at the lumber mill, they say the vibrations can be worse, and the years of this hardship have taken a toll. What's this done to you? Tore me up. Really? Mentally, physically. Tore me up. Because I'm watching everything that we own fall apart. The chambers say neither Bestway Lumber nor the Lewis County Industrial Development Agency will take responsibility, so they are suing them in court. This house has been vibrating Monday through Friday for seven years. Um, I'd like to see them buy us out so we can move and get out of, there, get out of here. You say the house, uh, you couldn't sell it? Now it's unlivable and you can't sell it? Jim, right now no one in their right mind would buy this place. In their court papers replying to the chamber's lawsuit, Best Way and the IDA deny that the lumber mill is the cause of the vibrations. The head of the IDA, Rick Porter, said he can't comment, we're being sued. The spokesperson for Best Way Lumber issued a statement. We do not publicly discuss ongoing litigation. In light of that, we will allow the attorneys and insurance companies to do their jobs. We look forward to the day when this case is dismissed and the matter is resolved. The chambers say the connection is obvious, though. When the mill is running, the house is shaking. When the mill shuts down, the vibrations stop. I have to live in a house that shakes constantly, that the noise is unbearable, that it's just ridiculous. And these people know about it and they refuse to take action. 